So is it worth doing Uber? Is it actually worth doing Uber? Well, come with me on my shift and what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna vlog, I'm gonna give you my hourly rates. I'm just gonna start work at 10, I'm gonna finish at about eight, half eight, and I'm gonna give you my hourly rates. And you're gonna see on the screen my app as it moves through the day to see exactly how much I make. Now today is Friday, so it's the start of the weekend. It's the weekend after the bank holiday weekend. So it may be busy, it may be quiet, but we'll see how it goes. So let's get logged on. Most important thing first, let's get fueled up. Okay, so let's get logged on and see. That's the noise that logs us on and see where we go today on this day, Friday. Rail strikes on. I'm currently here in Lim Services, which is like a lot of coaches here. Ah, Lim Services, quite busy. So we'll get ourselves logged on. Well, we are logged on now and we'll see what happens today. As we saunter through on Friday, we're gonna do the hourly, the hourly rate and um, you know, and see where we end up at the end of the shift. So onwards and upwards we go. So Warrington is swamped full of drivers. I can see drivers even sitting with me in limb services. There was a time when there was hardly any Uber drivers in Warrington and Warrington was constantly busy. But now, where does spread? And there's Uber drivers all over Warrington. So we're moving, but as yet, we have um, nothing, nothing on the pot, no requests. So today, I'm gonna move away from Warrington and I, I call it working between the lines, working smaller areas where there's less Ubers. Now, sometimes when I do this, it can be quite good because you're away from the main pack. You, you, you're away from, from the main working areas. So we're sort of heading down to do South Cheshire, North Staffordshire. So currently it's just gone 10 o'clock, it's about 10 past 10 now, and uh, we're moving these areas. So, so, dark, so we're working in between the lines, as I call it, Staffordshire and um, you know South Cheshire and a little bit of, uh, of Derbyshire. See how we go anyway, because Warrington is swamped with drivers. So it, it could be a long day in Warrington. Doing this, I've done it before and it was good, it was lucrative. Doing it again, we'll see anyway. But the app's moving around there. Don't you get, don't you get your nerves, you get something stuck in front of you like this. All oh, these, these, these farming vehicles do me brain in. Get stuck behind one, you're stuck, stuck behind one forever. Look at this, can we get past it? So we'll see what happens, we'll see where we go today being, um, being Friday. Rail strike on as well. So again, working between the lines, may pick something up, which is pretty decent, or may not. The Okay, hour one in, and we have got 12 pounds 55. Got a job then from Nutsford. So it takes me into where we are now. And if you know Greater Manchester, you'll know this is Alteringham, and that's Alteringham bus station just there. And that's where we are right now. So 12 quid in. That job was eight and a half miles. Eight and a half miles for 12 pounds 55 pence. Yeah, Uber now do differently. The contract is now between the rider and Uber, not between the driver and the rider. So, Uber, take a job and they will give you a price for the job. What they decide for you, the job is worth. So, gone are the days now of the old 25% commission. That's gone. It's now a case of what Uber offer you to do the job. So I did that job, eight and a half miles, 12 pounds and 55 pence. That's how it is now. So some jobs 
you know, some jobs I've done, I've got the full fare. What well, I've got exactly the same as what the riders paid. Other jobs, it's less. All depends again on areas and how busy it is. And if you're in, in a bit of a, more of a remote area or an area which you're not gonna get a job from to come back, that's when it tends to get the higher jobs. Well, that job was um, Nutsford, right the way through to Altrincham, eight and a half miles, 12 pounds, 55 pence. That's the hour one. That's gross. <laughs> well, great, yeah, it is gross as in, <laughs> as in not good, but also gross as in that's without any deductions. So we crack on. Greater Manchester, Altrincham. Yeah, Altrincham can be a bit of a weird area too. I've worked here many times in Altrincham and I've done really minimum minimum jobs in Altrincham, minimum uh, job, minimum sort of like fair jobs in Altrincham. Uh, but today, this time of day, 11 o'clock, just gone 11 o'clock in the morning, we are in, I would say, quite a dead zone. So we're heading back out now towards Nutsford again, and we're gonna head out that way. I'm gonna avoid Warrington because there's stacks of cars sitting in Warrington at the minute, all twiddling the thumbs. So we'll see how we go on. It's quite warm still outside. No rain in the air today, I don't think. So it could be, it could be a grind. It could be. Okay, just done a job there. Now this is how the Uber pricing now works. Just did a job there, but I'm a little bit out of the way. So I'm in Sandbach now, and the job was 1.2 miles, and I got five pounds and five pence for it. So just going a mile down the road, getting a fiver for it. Not bad. See, because different now, Uber give you the price. They give you the price of the job. They price it up for you. So it's not the job the customer, not the price the customer pays. It's what Uber offer you per job. Now, because I'm in a slightly out of the way area in Sandbach, South Cheshire, isn't it? Um, they pay me a little bit more to do a little job. So I'm now still in Sandbach in Cheshire and we're heading now towards the Stoke area and see where we go from there. So that's how today's gonna roll on. So you'll see coming across the top, or across the screen as we go on, uh, how we're progressing money-wise. So, so far, so far it is uh, moving. Yeah, yeah, no, okay, nothing not spectacular. So you wanna be an Uber driver? You wanna be an Uber? Well, yeah, you know, yeah, we'll keep it going. But in this job, it's always not where you f start, it's where you finish. So wherever you start can be iffy starts. I've had some very slow starts, I've had some very strong finishes uh, recently. Vice versa, I've had some very strong starts and some awful finishes. So we'll see where we end up. But moving now into the Staffordshire area and see what it happens. That's what you gotta do with Uber, keep moving. Don't sit, don't sit when, when, when it's quiet in one area, move around, move around, that's what I'm doing. And hopefully, hopefully by tonight, when it's dark, hopefully it'll work out quite well but fingers you know, they, all, they all keep them crossed keep them crossed right let's get on with it down to seven pound 71. yeah you get to see some nice places as you drive around well we're currently down in moving steadily in the midlands moving sort of south in the midlands heading down the a40 a51 the a51 here, I just dropped off at this place called Aston Marina, which is uh, very nice, very nice, Aston Marina, very nice place. Oh, hang on a minute, can't get out that way. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a very nice little place, this. So I just dropped someone off here that came in from uh, just outside the Stoke area. So we're gonna head down the A51 and we're heading, um, yeah, into, into more into Staffordshire area. Got a feeling because of the rail strikes today, and, and especially in this area, got a feeling I may end up down in like the West Midlands. Got a f I find myself very close to Alton Towers, so I'm gonna sit here and wait. Last time I was down here, I did well at Alton Towers. I got some decent jobs out of there. Uh, they, they're going like an hour plus, most of them are going at to an hour plus and of course today with the rail strike being on we may get more because i've just done a job just about 10 minutes ago which was uh, a lad at utoxeter station and no trains at all today from utoxeter so it was a 20 odd quid job you know not that far away really and uh, that was all good so 
we're gonna we're gonna keep hanging around here and uh, and see where we get anything or not from Alton Towers because normally from there when I've done Alton Towers in the past they've gone from Alton Towers to stations but the stations are all off so they may be going even further may get nothing about on towers but they may, no one may have decided to go today because of the rail strike or it could be really busy i don't know um at the minute i'm eating healthy i'm eating healthy because uh for a while and recently i've started eat, eating healthy the last couple of weeks feel a lot better for it and exercising again but for a little while i stopped exercising and eating healthily i was eating all shite i was eating out the bear out the chippy and burgers and, and all that mcgregs and i've got to be honest with you my mental health suffered my mental health went down a bit now doing this job a lot of this job you're by yourself and if your mental health isn't good you're feeling not good in yourself you're feeling not good you're not feeling motivated you don't feel happy in yourself and if you're not happy doing this job it can become a real real struggle take it from me last couple of weeks i have struggled in this job to keep motivated to keep on the road and most importantly to keep happy because when you're not happy in this job you know your passengers come in and they're sitting behind you and if you're not feeling good in yourself it can be really hard to keep working so that's why i now eat healthily and i'm exercising it's a you must in this job if you're not eating healthily in this job and you're not exercising you, there's a good possibility your mental health can drop and when it drops it's oh it's horrible right uh, not far from mountain towers we'll wait here and hopefully we'll be moving pretty soon We got one at Alton Towers. It's a 22 pound job going into Stoke, somewhere in Stoke. Um, not the best, not the best at Alton Towers. I've had, I've had some good ones out there, but 22 pound is a little bit below average, but it's been a bit quiet just the last few uh, half an hour or so. It's gone a bit quiet, so we're taking it. We're taking it. But look at the roads which are heading to Alton Towers, though. The Alton Tower roads are all country lanes all the way it's as if like alton towers is just completely in the middle of nowhere it is it feels like it's in the, it's just completely in the middle of nowhere but we rock on we move on it's friday up to 19 pounds per alton towers really is just in the middle of nowhere isn't it <laughs> it literally is up and down hills as well the roads are really narrow imagine coming here in a coach you know bus in front of us now it's just like oh it's a difficult considering it's a massive theme park it's so difficult to get to and look at this this is the width of the road this is the width of the road to get into alton towers literally is so narrow farley is the place but literally, I'm four minutes away from Alton Towers and you think, where is it? Where is it? It just looks like it's just in the middle of nowhere. And it is just in the middle of nowhere. Now, when you come to Alton Towers, if you pick up from here, it is in gate number four. Gate number four is the Alton Towers pickup point. And how many riders don't stand at gate four they stand inside the theme park where you can't get a car into where there's no access you have to basically car park four or exit four gate four is where all the coaches and all the cars pick up pick up from a drop off from but some riders don't think that some riders will just stand right in the theme park itself there we are in we go Alton Towers and must be must be closing now. Now is this girl in the right place? I think she may not be, but it's, we have to go to gate number four to pick it up. So we're all but done. Uh, we're only nearly eight o'clock now, and we finished off on one five zero. We started it just after ten this morning. It's just before eight now. One five zero on a Friday. 
take it that how you want it. Take it how you want it. Um, we we back in Cheshire now. We're now in uh, East Cheshire, Cheshire East now. So we're not far from Northwich. I uh, come back over the border from Staffordshire, so it's uh, into Northwich, into a. Uh, um, Cheshire now, Northwich area, so that's it, that's us done. I'm off now till Monday, that's the weekend in. Um, so, yeah, is it good on Uber? It's up and down, like always, like everything. This weekend, though, it's the weekend after the bank holiday weekend, so it could be hit and miss. School's back next week as well, so that'll make it busy next week in the daytimes, especially, especially the mornings because the first week back at school the kids are always running late so that makes it you know busy and also it is going to be very warm next week as well going to have a heat wave the last heat wave of the year coming up next week so that's going to be quite good too thanks for watching this video give it a thumbs up of course and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already videos coming up next week one after this one is going to be three myths concerning taxi surrounding taxi driving three myths surrounding taxi driving three things which are said but are not actually true that is the next video Again, thank you for watching. Enjoy your weekend. I am. And um, off. Greg's great not working weekends as well. Oh, you, I've worked them for years and years and years. And now finally, no more weekends for me. It's just chill out time, football, and possibly some uh, stuff around the house. But hopefully, I'll get away with that. Fingers crossed. Okay. See you soon. Ta ta.